But you see that picture right there. Now, uh, tell us about the day that picture was, was taken. I was training to be a BAR man in the infantry in Mississippi, Camp Chevy, Mississippi, in 1943. And this is the first Army picture I had made. I was 18 years old. And what is that around the collar that I see? What, what is that that's, around the That's collar? sweat. It stayed about 100 degrees in Mississippi all the summer. And we didn't quit training just because it was hot. We got to get out there and do it. And uh, I looked like a young kid, and I was a young kid. But I thought I was a pretty good soldier. Well, just uh, for this tape's uh, sake, uh, tell me real quickly, uh, you got shot, you were captured, and how long were you in German hands? Well, I got I got shot on the morning of the 7th of July, and I got captured that evening before dark. And the three guys that they had, me and two more guys that put us in a horse stable. They walked us on back, and the first place that I remember being at was Shalom, France. And they kept us there approximately two weeks. And there was a railroad line run through there, and they would load us in boxcars every day, every morning, and push it out on the sidetrack so our airplanes could shoot us up around sometime that day. And then we moved from there on back to Limburg, Germany, I think was the name of the place. It was a big prison camp. And we didn't stay there long, and it took us on back to uh, Stalag 4B. And it was, living conditions were so terrible there that they had a, a squad to go around every morning to pick up the dead and haul them out. And they had some Russian prisoners there, and they were treated worse than we were. And they come in one morning in the morning of work detail to go out and work. We didn't know what it was going to be or nothing. But me and one of my buddies volunteered to go out because we knew we wasn't going to make it long there. And uh, they took us to a little place called Grossenheim, Germany. And that might not be the right pronunciation for it, but that's the way we... It was Grossenheim, Germany. And then... We worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week in a paper mill. But we had a little better food, a little better living condition, a whole lot better than it was in that camp. And this, this place was about 22 or three kilometers from Dresden, Germany. And then on the morning of the 13th of February, 1945, uh, Lancaster bombers from England, heavy bombers come over our place and started bombing Dresden. And after daylight, the B-17s come over and bomb Dresden the rest of the day. The historian says Dresden didn't have nothing to do with the war, but it did. It was a marshalling yard to make, make up trains to go to the Russian front. And we had never bombed it. And they pulled the, all the anti-aircraft guns out of it and sent them to the Russian front. And they wiped Dresden out about. They estimated that there's anywhere from 30,000 to 70,000 people killed in that town. And then when, uh, later on in April, they moved us out, but the Russian was coming in there and they didn't want the Russian to liberate us because they would have handed us rifles and let us fight along with them, and they didn't want that. And they liked to walk to Sedef to the 7th of May, and then they liberated us on the evening of the 7th of May, they turned us loose. And we made it on down to the Russian, I mean to the American lines. That night we got to sleep in a bed with sheets on it, and, a, and it sure was nice. And they started feeding us four or five times a day because we couldn't eat much. And then they landed a C-47 at the uh, airborne troops that jumped across the Rhine River out of this plane and they landed in a cow pasture there and flew us back to Camp Lucky Strike, France. 
and we was on the way home. If your friend knows where the 90th Division was at on 4th of July uh, up to the 7th of July, best recollection I got, there was a, a one-track railroad come through there and a paved highway that we crossed when we got ambushed on this night patrol. And I was in the 357th Infantry. Uh, that's about the best I can tell where I was at, uh, cause they moved us on back from there.